Power 2752 show on YouTube. Hey, man, you know, once again, watch the show, like the show, share the show, comment, and subscribe. You know, I like those subscriptions and those likes and those shares. Once again, if you want to the Moon Dog gear, the Moon Dog 2752 show, myself5.com. The Moon Dog 2752 show, myself5.com. Now, who we have here today? We have one of our, one of my most esteemed colleagues. You know what I'm saying? Introduce yourself to the people. Yeah, man, it's Marlon Milo Randall, you know, for for the most it's Marlon Randall, but the home team, they call him Milo. For those who do not know, we just had his partner on, Sugar Poo, and we was in a, that's a whole different show, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we, we ain't gonna talk about that old, old class we was in, yeah. but here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you two questions, Mr. Randall. Okay. I know, you know what I'm saying, you a man of business and things like that. But first of all, where are you from? Uh, originally. Uh, I was born in Memphis. Uh, that's why I, uh, I get along with these guys so much in this area. But I'm, I'm from Memphis, but I was raised in Cleveland, Mississippi. Most people don't know that, but yeah, I, I was born in Memphis and raised in Cleveland, Mississippi. Like DJ Quick said, man, we born and raised. You know what I'm <laughs> so that's where the Seven Three Two come from, y'all ever want to know. So what is your current profession? What do you do now? Uh, now I'm a, um, a tech uh uh, operator at Aramark. Uh, it's like a big cleaners, but still what I do, I work on the work on the wash out and I'm an operator. And uh, so that's what I do. All right, cool. Now I see you got a shirt on there, and it says self therapy. Could you tell us about self therapy? Uh, self therapy is a concept that I uh, use. Uh, it's more kind of kind of more like mental health and some anything that can bring you peace. Some people drink, some people smoke, some people read, some people exercise. But overall, self therapy is a thing. It's something that I'm very passionate about. I think everybody's supposed to have something they can connect to as far as bringing some kind of therapy to their life on a day to day basis. Because you have to heal from so so much that go on throughout the day. You uh sometimes you can be a little more stressed and all you have to do is it might be a cup of coffee or just sitting in the corner or just watching your favorite movie but self-therapy covers it all so how long have you been working on this self-therapy concept self-therapy was something that um it was had it's like like probably 13 14 years ago i was trying to do the little doing the right thing and i i wrote a book about self-therapy uh i never pushed published it but um, it's it's been like thirteen, probably. I say for the last fifteen years, I had it in me, but um, from twenty nineteen, that's when I really started trying to bring it, bring it to light, you know. So twenty nineteen, I would say the original. Now, I know sometimes things like this, man, it takes us time, it takes our energy, and things like that. But do you love working on the self therapy thing, and have you always loved it? I mean, you know, sometimes it's just it has pros and cons, and it takes a lot of our attention and energy away from the day-to-day -day life. Well, <clears throat> I, I really believe that sometimes we can we can work so hard at a job or trying to do so much, and what we have to do because we have to provide, but we forget about our dreams. And I think for me, every day, if I don't get out there and do something physically, I stay on. I, I probably grab my phone, and do some creating. Whether it's ugly, whether whatever it is, I just feel like it, the more that I put into it, I can I start seeing the perfection of it. So right now I have samples, and but it's something that I'm very passionate about. So I know eventually it's gonna come to light. It's gonna be something I really want it to be. Yeah. Now back in the day, I remember you had a couple businesses. I remember you had like a barber shop yeah. and a couple more things going like there. Could you tell us some, uh, tell our viewers the um, benefits of owning a business? Well, I think it, it come back to being in control of being in control of your finances, um, because a lot of time we work a job so long and all we can look forward to them telling them we can retire when we sixty five, sixty seven. Life expectancy is seventy. I think it's now sixty five now. So uh, I think if you just you know try to be more passionate on something that you want to do. And strive hard. It don't matter. I mean, even when when I was doing different things, like I had a promotion company back in 2013, 
had did the uh, barbershop in 2014. Um, it was something, I just I always thought that I, I should be in a little more control of my finances because they're the job. They can tell me how much I can make. They can let me know how much they're not going to allow me to make and, and I can bottom out. But when I'm in more control of what I got going on or anything as far as business, I can see that I can, it, it's the sky's the limit in it. So I think I'm more thrive to be in it because I just like to be in control of my finances, you know. So. You know, I can understand that. Uh, next question. Can you explain some of the consequences that come of being a business owner? Um, if you if the consequences, it can be good and bad. Sometimes you can put too much in it, and all the time, I mean, support the success of it don't come like you wanted to. But I think if you feel like you can find success within yourself, cause just doing it is success. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause it, 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 it's just like the concept of somebody told me one time, uh, man, my dream is to have a Cadillac. And I asked him, man, you can dream about Ferrari or you can dream about something bigger than that. And then I had to check myself and go like, you know, hold on, that's his dream. You know, so I think if to, the more you thrive, you know what I'm saying, to do what you want to do, regardless of whatever outcome, man, you should feel good about yourself that even though that you try. Because so many people have talked about doing something and never stepped out the porch and did it. So mm -hmm. uh, the consequences of it can be, it can be mind-boggling and sometimes it can be failure, but, you know, just look at overall that it's a set that you even stepped out and do it, did it. Now, y'all heard what you he said. He had, a, he had a key concept about consequences. Consequences can be positive and or negative. Consequences do not have to always be a negative situation. At the same time, when you're dealing with on your own business, sometimes expectations. You expect this to happen off, this for him to happen, this for him to pop off, and sometimes when those expectations aren't met, you can get down on yourself and like scrap the whole project because things aren't moving at a pace. Right. But as you can see, he's done different things, he switched it up, but what he didn't do, he didn't stop. Right, right. Next thing. Why is it important to invest in yourself? Well, I think it's kind of like going with self, uh, what you call uh, confidence, self-esteem. It's something about, you know, uh, knowing that, you know, some people can can control the narrative, some people can't, you know. I think, for me, it's more about the controlling the narrative, you know, and, uh, and investing in me, I know who I am, I know what I can do, and you know, if I think I can't do it, I just pray about it and ask God to give me some guidance, and I ain't eventually doing, I end up doing something bigger. Um, and I mean, for anybody that really, I don't care if it's a lawn service or whatever, I think having some kind of form of knowing that if something go bad today at the job or whatever, you will have some kind of way knowing that you can provide for yourself right on whatever level it is, you know, but at least you'll know that you ain't stuck and you like, huh? You know, some people die or some people kill themselves, depression or whatever, but if you keep something going on, so no matter what happens, you have a plan B or plan C or whatever, I think that's, that's the biggest thing about investing yourself, knowing that I got something else going on other than this, this job. You know? Now, as y'all hear, he didn't necessarily talk on about money as far as investing. Well, he talked about part of his investment strategy was like putting the time in, getting the plan together, coming up with a plan A, a plan B, or a plan C. Because the thing about the COVID situation, a lot of people plan A went out the window. When the last time people went to a movie theater? I know they cut here. All the movie theater changed. <laughs> For real. I know they cut here. Yeah. With that being said, we're going to move on to the next item up for bid. advice do you have for the youth or a young person that's thinking about getting out there and trying something? I, I would say, uh, I remember when I was in the Boy Scouts and the Cub Scouts, whatever, and we used to have to, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we used to, have to sell candy, uh, doing something for a fundraiser for what we, what we had doing, whether it's for uniforms or anything. I think it's kind of like that um, 
you can do something. I mean, even to the smallest of selling candy for yourself or selling candy to uh, you want a new video game, new phone, whatever. I think it's, it's a good thing to start now trying to do something for yourself other than just being more dependent on people, even on a job. I mean, I always reiterate about the job thing because so many people have went to a job and counted it as the biggest thing going on, then one day they closed. And, uh, and they were left with mental health and depression. And I think at a young age, if you start now trying to do something as small as just having a lemonade stand or selling candy or whatever, I think you'll enjoy having your own money, first of all. And, uh, and then ain't no can nobody tell you what to do. But then also, it coming back to having your own money, saving, and like I said, being more controlled. And then as you get older, you can learn more about credit and different things that really are going to help you. But it starts now knowing how to control your money, you know, so... Investing in yourself is a big thing because, like I say, it's, it, it can be more a uh, big advantage uh, to do that, and then it will help you along the way as you get older. Because more more grown folks have more money problem because we wasn't taught young about how we should do it and what we need to do. In other words, <laughs> you're not deserving of anything. That's right. You can earn yeah, certain things, yeah. but things that are given to you. Like I told you, all this stuff, give all the toys. My folks know about all the toys. My father know all the toys, the video games I had. Did I really appreciate that stuff? No, I was not working with them. Right, right. But you know what I'm saying? At the same time, I was working in the summertime with my folks climbing under the house yeah. and doing that other stuff back there. Yeah, get what you need. Right, I had to get what I need. Right. Next, what is your definition of success? Um, boy, I tell you, success. Uh, and it and one thing, success is a is a visual thing, you know. Cause like I'll tell you about uh, the guy that wanted the Cadillac, you know. And I'm looking at him like, man, you can dream about something bigger than that. And he's looking like, no, man, that's my big, you know. And uh, success is your big, whatever uh, you set out to do. And some people can say, well, he ain't gonna do nothing. He said they said that, but the first, it, I think the first step is success. The last step is not success. I think the first step is success because once you step out there and do it, that's success. Now, you're going to reap the benefits of your success if you stay with it, you know. And um, I would say the inspiration. I draw I draw from different inspiration. I draw from, first of all, I'm a big believer of God, you know. Uh, I raised in the church and hey, I, for a long time, I, I played in the church, but I, I'm telling you something, it, it, it helps me along the way these days. And yeah, I'm still, I think I still had a, a gangster in me because I have to, because I got to provide for a family and I got to protect the family. So, but it's not nonsense. But my inspiration, inspiration comes from different ways. I, I knew, I know a, a young lady. Her name is Kim, Miss Kim Spear. She, she used to, um, uh, she has a. Green airline, she had a line too. And she always used to send me and show me some things. And I'm like, man, that's real. You know, and I'm like, and I always used to tell her, like, hey, you just doing it. She's like, all right. But I'm like, yeah, you're doing it because you have something. You know, and it's like coming up in Mississippi, all the older people, they had land and everything. And it was always stuck in my mind that it needs to be. Something that we need to have, you know, is generation wealth or something like that, anything of that nature. But I think it just we have to more be more in tune to what we want to do is and just not talk about it, you know, and just do it, you know. Right. So okay. in other words, one of his biggest aspects of success or being successful is effort. Stepping out there, Definitely. making it happen, not being afraid. Whatever uh, you believe in, go ahead and call up on it, right, get a little right. vision, yes, and go ahead and make that thing happen. Right. Now, I know you were talking about things dealing with motivation. If you can sum it up, what is the number one thing that motivates you right now? Uh, well, I tell you, it's, it's crazy, not to sing him out, but my, my son, McCaffrey. I always, when I look at him, see myself a lot, not just because he look like me, but, <laughs> it, but the concept of realizing that, you know, uh, having him made me uh, think, I, I started thinking about things like, 
uh, life insurance credit. When I'm when I leave here, what he gonna have? What 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 did I do? Did I do all I can do to you know put him in a better place? Um, so I find the motivation in that. Also, uh, my mom, she always the person that I always try to guide me, in. and uh, she's not a person that I, I get I get kind of get this thing you know uh, about nurturing thoughts. That sometimes people can tell you something and you try to turn them away from their thoughts. And instead of doing that, you try to tell them. You know, you ain't got to, you can listen to them and you can give them your advice, and not try to take everybody away from themselves and try to more, you know get them a better outlook on what they what you know what what you do in the situation. And I think I just I, I draw motivation from different places. You know, I try not to uh, uh, criticize anything. I'm not perfect, but I try to just look at things at face value. And, uh, and I draw from them, them, them kind of energies I draw from. Well, so you got this thing popping off, you had some videos before, but with this self therapy line, this self therapy situation, what is your ultimate goal and ultimate vision for the self therapy line? I, my, I really want people to get it. You know how you try to drive a point? Mm-hmm. Uh, self therapy is a it's a point I'm trying to drive. It's you know, no doubt people have mental health issues and they have to talk to different people. And, you know, have to talk to a psychiatrist or whatever, your preacher, or whatever. But um, and you have to do that if you have to do that. But I think taking a, a chair, I, I can make an example. Back in the day, you'd have most father had a laser board chair. I don't care if they go home when they work all day when they get home. Nobody can be in his chair. I think that's a part of self therapy because at the end of the day, he know he's going home to get in that chair, and they bring him some relaxation and get him ready mentally, ready for the next day. Um, with self therapy, that's that's my point. I try to I want to drive that point more than anything to let people know that you know sometimes even though you might have to talk to people and depression is real. Uh, find you something. I don't care what it is. Uh, I ain't telling you to get drunk. You know, do everything in moderation. You know, and if that's what you decide to do. Uh, but find you something that's gonna bring you some kind of peace. You know, and that's what that's my point. I'm trying to drag and step there. Hey man, I, hey, I, I like that. Now, as you can see, when he's talking, he's bringing that that therapy back into the conversation. To let you know that he really believes in his own vision and what he's saying. He just, he's not just freestyling this. He's actually living this, this, this situation in which he's trying to bring to other people. Now, at the same time, he does have some mock-ups over here. Mr. Brown, you want to select some of your mock-ups? Yes, uh, they, are really, they are rough samples, but they're products that I'm, I'm about to uh, perfect. But I want to just show a few samples of this. I got one on. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, and, and I have self therapy where I have the wrong free and OG talking to some big without them understanding the hand. Free your mind, socialize, and relax. And them them forms of self therapy. And so I want people to look at you know mostly what whenever I put out something, I want them to look at look at exactly what I'm putting out. Even with the OG talking, yeah, like I said, everything is rough draft, but it's, it's something that um, I really believe in, so I'm expected. Um, I have, I had a thing, uh, a line, girl talk, I mean, girl kind, you know, I really believe that women need to get out and be together sometimes because they have to be together too, so, because women are very sensitive and they need that kind of form of thing with the girls or whatever. They had a whole movie about it called Girl Trip. Yeah, they did. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so, and I have stepped there to relax. I'm, uh, I'm really focused on that. So as, I, as things get better, I'm, I'm going to put it out more. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, wrong free release the hoodie. I'm, I'm, my brand is not just a simple brand as far as a t shirt and hoodie. I'm going to use it for everything. I have a canister and this. And now, this is something that another brand, a line I'm using, it's Luxury Stone. Uh, this is my step there, but so that. Don't judge me, I ain't gonna judge you. <laughs> <laughs> so, these so, are some of the samples that I have. Uh, like I said, they just rough samples, but 
that is some product that I'm really standing behind. And whenever I put it together, give it some out for I sell it to. Because this guy's just really about the money. Of course, I'm going to make some money, but it's really about the product and what I'm standing behind. All right. Now, with that being said, Mr. Rounder, any, any parting thoughts before we shut this thing down? Well, I really, one thing about it, I, I appreciate you coming back, uh, really coming, uh, because a lot of times we don't get the just that we need, because we know you don't have people that believe in you from the start. They believe from you, believe in you at the end. Um, and, I, and I really thank you for doing that. Uh, I wish everybody out there that listen that, you know, really understand self-therapy is something big for you, and it can really kind of change your life. You, it'll start... It'll stop a lot of them things that you don't even understand. I ain't somewhere to be. I don't care where it is. Get you a corner, get you a chair, whatever. Just sit there, relax, meditate, whatever, and just do something big for yourself. And self there is, is is something that you really need. Just in case y'all didn't know, A Ball and MJD put it like this: You gotta have hard from the start. <laughs> you got to be hard. You gotta be hard. You gotta stick with it. Now, yeah. with that being said. It's your boy Moondog 3732 for the Moondog 3732 show on YouTube. Uh, once again, merchandise the Moondog 3732 show, <laughs> myshutterfire.com. I do take feedback and I go from there as well. We out. Yeah. Thank you. Very-